And now it's time for the All About Business Business Break. I defend companies. Some people would say that's the dark side. You know, it's, it's kind of funny. I, I never went to law school with the intent of being an environmental lawyer. In fact, when I was in law school 33 years ago when I started, they didn't even offer environmental law. So what I like to tell people is that I help companies comply with the laws. The thing that's frustrating for the small to mid-sized companies is, you know, a lot of them are family-owned. They've been doing it that way since Grandpa owned them. And they don't understand why they have to do something. Well, now, now it's ratcheted down to the smaller shops. Your local guy, you know, your corner guy that fixes your car, you know, to, to fix your air conditioner with the Freon, that's all heavily regulated. So a lot of these people don't even know what they need to do. And, you know, oftentimes they won't know until someone walks in. The big companies have people designated. Not only do they have them designated for environmental, they have someone designated for air and someone designated for water and someone designated for waste. And there may be multiple people doing that. Well, you know, it's not uncommon for small companies to have the human resources director be the environmental guy because they're kind of responsible for OSHA and OSHA kind of has some environmental issues. So, I mean, how do you, how do you deal with that? You know, I, what I find is my clients always, they want to do the right thing. There's nobody that's out there that's intentionally breaking the environmental laws. The regulators, I think, sometimes, you know, where there's smoke, they assume there's a fire. And sometimes where there's smoke, it's really just steam from the teapot boiling. So I like to, you know, I like to help small companies comply with, with issues.